Did you sleep well, Dave? <laughs> yep, I finally got some sound sleep. Mm. I even dreamed I was exploring space. <laughs> ah, things have calmed down a bit now. <laughs> well then, <laughs> check on my any unfinished business. <laughs> and let's have a bl blast running Banjo Sushi. Sweet dream. Mini game Space Diver. That is awesome. Uh, let's actually, yeah, let's put the sweet dream on our boat. That's cool. I like it. Pretty awesome. So yeah, I guess now we're going to run around and, and just try to get three star fish and fill out our America. We have the cucumber event coming up. Let's see, we're... If we go to the farm, it just showed me something for the farm. Of course, Sam sh Sammy should be doing the work. Let's double check that he is. Harvested eggs. Five grade A eggs. Whoa. That's pretty lucky. Is it 70% chance? It's not even 100% chance that they'll lay an egg. 70% chance that it'll be a great egg. Wait, that's very unlikely. Or is that for two days worth? No, no, no. That's only one day worth. Interesting. 32 cucumbers. Very well done. And he's planting more. All right. Good job, Sammy. He, no weeds to be found. He's doing his job. Nutrient could use some work, though. Can I do anything about that? I guess not. We have 1,200. We didn't actually have an evening for selling food last night. We had a much more important thing, which was celebrating with everybody. So we'll uh, we'll earn some more cash today and then fill out the chicken farm. Farming report. Oh, okay. That's, that's what it was telling me. So if I go to management... Nope. Not here. Farm now. That's what I need. Days remaining five. Okay, apparently we skipped a day. Or I guess yesterday counted and it's counting today as well. So five days after today. Makes sense. Today's harvest. Good. This helps. I think we didn't have anything left in Eco Watcher, right? We still... Oh, investigate dangerous gemstones. We did get that. Let's deliver those. Means we need to catch. Collect a lot more Torbernite. Torbernite? What was it called? I forget. One more pink seashell. We'll keep it out for those, of course. Some comb jellyfish can be captured. I'm going to swap back to the net gun. Steel net gun here. What is Cobra selling today? Waterproof box, steel net, sensor trap. I feel this is kind of pointless now because I do have the net gun, the steel net gun, which does the same thing. But a waterproof box is nice to have. Emergency paver, pager is not really needed. And yeah, we're just collecting ingredients for a cucumber event. Let's head to the sea people area. And then from there, we'll go left. We'll capture some of the spider crabs. We'll capture some of the sea lions. I finally remembered. Sea lions are the flat orange fish. Okay. I had to think for a moment there. Crops are all grown. Come harvest. Yeah, sure. Let's get her on the beluga. Oh. What's up with them? Is this me? Oh, the statue in the background. Seeing a statue of me in the Sea People Village feels kind of nice, to be honest. That's really cool. They really appreciated our help. Who's this? Is this a new person? I can't talk to them. They're in the background. Hey, Gumo. I would like to harvest all this black coral. We can use that for the cucumber recipes. There is a more fancy one that needed it. Alright, we got it quite a bit. And I will purchase some more of those seeds. Black coral down here. Right here. We are I am running out of bay. Need some more bay now. Oops, no 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 no. Uh I planted the wrong one. That's alright, you know what? Let's get these out of the way. Alright. Okay. That's fine. It doesn't hurt. Okay. So, spider crabs. Do we need. No, we don't need a rhino chimera today. We finished getting its horn. Or thorn, or whatever it was. I'm uh, not sure what else we need out here. This is where checking our America underwater would be really nice. Hold on. So, lots of black coral. That's great. Torbernite is waiting on that. No missions in progress. That's uh, control for the full list. Hunt Fangtooth. Okay. Select that. There you go. We have some Fangtooth here that we can hunt. 
We need the comb jellyfish, of course. Special customer. No special customers are expected to visit. Yeah, there's just no way. Oh, I can press tilde to return to the boat? Really? Seems a bit strange. Don't need any own. Yeah. Sea toad, not sea lion. Did I call it a sea lion a few minutes ago? I meant sea toad. Seeing it reminds me, it's funny. All right, catch the fang tooth and probably another guy in there too. Salmon snail fish, sure. Grab a Bluetooth. Oh, I missed him. Hold on, what's going on? Uh, this, okay, this rock is getting in the way. I want to shoot him. There we go. He needs to be out of the ground a little bit. I used a fair amount of ammo on that. I can put a lobster pot down here. Let's do that. And we can throw a salmon snailfish in. Actually, uh, yeah, salmon snailfish is 5 kilograms. I don't need to use that in any recipes. Hopefully this is a weapon enhancement. Nope, oh, it's alright. Uh, harpoon tip is perfectly fine by me. There's some ammo. Perfect. Grab this guy. We can put him in another trap. Lobster pot. Okay. Up we go. Oxygen, some ammo. I... Uh, yeah, it's too bad. I don't know which of these fish I need to get. I think I've caught all the ones around here, though. I'd be kind of surprised if we hadn't yet. Let's grab this oxygen back a bit. Oh, this is Alright, um, gun enhancement only gives us one ammo. Let's just grab this guy. Oh, <laughs> it's another one of them. That's fine. I'm not gonna bother picking up ingredients, our dispatchers can do well enough on their own. But I will grab a spider crab for sure. And we did sell a few of these ores, so it's nice to have some more. Opal ore, in case we need it for anything. Pickaxe, not needed. Some more fragments. Yeah, let's get some more fragments. Takes very little time to go and do that. Don't need to worry about this guy. Do I have the seahorse? Maybe. Maybe not. I did not. I did not have a white seahorse. I now do. That's good. I don't need that. I have this guy? Let's just check. A red bream? Apparently I did have him. Another snailfish, I guess. I will probably need that, so we'll put down the waterproof box. Throw some stuff in there. I think five kilograms and five kilograms. Bam, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, pick that up. Grab a fragment. Grab some oxygen. See a big guy over there. Okay. Capture. We need five of these for the Eco Watcher. Ammo around. Hmm, this might be a tough fight with him if we have all these comb jellyfish protecting the area. Oh wait, was that ammo up here? No. Uh, all right. I missed. There's some ammo. No 
don't need that for fighting this guy, but we will for everybody else. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. All right. All right. You know what? Let's like. Oh, they were kind of grouped for a moment there. Oh, what? All right, that was too easy. I'm not going to use a net on this guy. Just grab him as it. Oops. There we go. Can use the net on the jellyfish. Ooh, one shot. Good. I'm not going to bother sending him up. We'll just use a submersible on him. So we're done with the comb jellyfish quest. That's good. Um, that's great. Let's check that. Sure. I do not need all these comb jellyfish. Let's get rid of them. I can. I'll just jettison a few. I don't know how long we're going to spend actually looking for things in the glacier area. In fact, I might just head up to the boat right away. We'll see. We'll see. Lobster pot. I am going to continue looking for the spider crabs, though. You can put a comb jellyfish in that, sure. The water scooter. I. Nah, we won't use it for now. Actually, why am I searching for spider crabs? I don't think I need more for the dishes, do I? Anyway, anyway, I never found out what the flasks are for. We'll pick it up. I guess our next step in terms of progression is upgrading the hush dart since the hush start will let us catch some of those bigger guys at three stars. I don't think I need the oxygen. Eh, whatever, I'll keep it, I'll keep it. Nice. Okay, so we didn't really find any more spider crab, that's okay. We'll head back. We did get the comb jellyfish we were looking for, which is nice. And this is a dead end. I need to go up this way and go through the tube worms. Yeah, you know what? We full capacity as it is. I know a fair amount of my capacity is taken up by comb jellyfish that I can jettison, but we're fine with just heading in. Head up to the surface, and then we'll head back down, and we will just go straight to the glacial area. Wait a second, where did this guy come from? I thought I caught him before. Doesn't hurt to have another. And I need to figure out how to take down that big armored shark. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I wonder. Is it something we can tranquilize? I would expect that if we can't pierce it with a sniper rifle, we probably can't pierce it with a tranquilizer dart, right? Can we drop rocks on it, maybe? There's a thought. Uh, I'm going to close. Yep. I also don't think I've won the last seahorse race, so I need to find a good seahorse for that. Although, the seahorse we have was actually really good as long as it is in, uh, in a good mood for racing. With a big green up arrow. 
Didn't find. Oh, white seahorse was new. Comb jellyfish. That's good stuff. Cookie cutter shark row. Why not? <laughs> um. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go to the glacial area. I. Th what I'm gonna do is I'm going there with a steel knife and actually quickly before I head there. We do have a hush tart. What do we need to do to upgrade it? Tranquilizer gun. Enhanced hush tart. Uh, oh, we have, okay, coral orb, topaz, and gold. So we definitely want to be looking for all those gemstones in the glacial area. Topaz and the other one. Put normal fish, you can put large fish to sleep with two consecutive shots. That's what we need. Topaz is going to be the hard one. Coral orb we can get from Dua at any time. I do need a lot more bay, but we can also sell some things for bay. We have a few of their relics and stuff. So investigate glacial marine plants. That's good. Yep, deliver those. Even though it's going to cost us some of the black coral that we want. Remove jellyfish. And what rewards? Eco waterproof bag. We're almost there. 390 out of 640. We actually, we have quite a ways to go. Uh, one more pink star, uh, pink seashell. Investigate sea people artifacts. A jade pedestal in the glacial area. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye out for that. North Pacific sea star in the glacial area. Some of these guys, I think, strap, striped catfish and sheep's head. Okay, these guys are just below the surface here. Hydrothermal vents. This guy, Dunkleosteus. That's what his name is. Okay. Send him up to the surface. Okay, all right. We'll figure that one out. And rubies in the blue and its effect on the marine ecology in the hydrothermal vents. So hydrothermal vents seems to be a good spot to head to. I actually do need one more fang tooth, but that's okay. There's no rush on that. We can get there anytime. Actually, yeah, let's head to the sea people. Go quickly grab that fang tooth just to complete that quest. And then we'll head to the glacial area afterwards. I swear I won't spend too much time on the left side of the map. All right. Two hundred sixty-six bay. Uh, we could use some more for sure. Okay. He's right there. I'll grab him too. I don't need the sniper rifle. These guys are useful for bait in the lobster trap. I saw a sea toad go in here, but the fang tooth is what we were really looking for. Alright, we didn't happen to hit the sea toad, that's okay. Yeah, I wonder where the crystal lobster is. That might be a tough one to find. So fang tooth, turn those in, get some, some bay out of that. And torbernite, which we actually gave away for the eco watcher, otherwise we could have completed it. That's okay. Let us head to the glacial area and see what we can find. There's some blueprints we haven't completed either. I'm sure I've caught all these guys in 3-star because the first thing I did when I got here was catch, caught them all with nets. I don't know. Oh, watch out for the narwhal. We have him in 3-star. Oh, what? That was rude. Don't need to catch him. A poison harpoon tip. Oh, okay. Level 4. Wow. So oxygen is something I need to watch out for here. I hear a sound. What was that sound? Huh. That was weird. Maybe a little bit glitched. Or maybe it was a guy on the left side. We can see him, possibly. Put a lobster pot here. Hopefully this has a crystal lobster. I can throw a fang tooth in. Why not? Some bull kelp. Oh, what's this? Oh, another camera spot. Nice. 
dolphin in a place like this? It must be a Lysodelphus peroni. Of course, they must be. I heard they're pack animals, but that one is swimming alone. Wow. Ah, uh, it disappeared behind the iceberg. Oh, there are more of them behind the iceberg. A school of dolphins is always a sight to see. Maybe I should take a picture of them. Yeah, let's go do that before they're gone. And take a picture of five creatures at once. Oh, that was close. But uh, we did not get it, so let's retake. All right, when they start slowing down around here. Oh no, <laughs> I held it too long. Hold on, try again. So, when they go to turn, there we go. Uh oh, nope, nope, nope. Unfortunately, I can't hold the focus for too long. All right, <laughs> all right. We need to wait until they come back out. Is I think the perfect moment is when they're looping around down here. The only issue was I held it too long. I didn't let go of the button. I hope they come back out. Uh, come out, come out, wherever you are. Okay, we might have missed out. Okay, fail. Oh, they're gone before I could take a picture. Maybe next time. Okay, that's that's what the case was. <laughs> Horse hair and snow crab. No crystal lobster. That's okay. And one of these ocean quahog shell. We haven't found a use for that, have we? There's some topaz, which we do need. A sticky bomb gun. Okay, we'll pick it up for the blueprint. And then pick back. Take our steel net gun back. guy. I do need a three-star of him. Actually, let's try the steel knight gun on him. Yeah, get back here. Okay, it didn't work. As expected. Didn't hurt too much to try, though. Fighting him's going to take a little while. I guess this poison tip on the harpoon is pretty good. That went pretty well. I know that sending him up with submersible will not make him three stars, so we'll just gather the meat as is. I have a lot of carry capacity. Oh yeah, I still haven't upgraded my carry capacity. That's funny. Here, let's catch one of these guys just in case, but I'm pretty sure I already have him in three star. I think we already have this crab in three star as well. You never know. Oh, I'm out of ammo. We get some more ammo. I went to shoot those guys and I couldn't. Odd. I need some oxygen though. Oh, there you go. Found some. I wonder if the. What is it? Uh, it was not a jade thing. Or whatever the sea people artifact was. I wonder if I need to go into one of these side passages and find it. I may have missed it when I was doing those before. Ah, perfect. Octopus, we need this guy. Specifically, we need, what is it, uh, an ink sack from him for our last upgrade for the tranquilizer, uh, for the poison heart, sniper rifle. <laughs> uh, another sticky bomb level two. All right. Catch those guys just in case. Okay, polar eel boat. We've definitely caught quite a few. Let's go in here. Check things out. First glacial cave. Uh, can I go down this way? Okay. 
Oh, right, right, right. This is how we got out. Okay. So I doubt there is anything that I missed around here. I like that it keeps it opened up. That's good. Pretty convenient. Jade marble. Okay. Apparently I did miss something. Alright, North Pacific Sea Star, pretty good. One more of those, and we're happy with those. We'll turn that in for the Eco Watcher. I guess I'll grab this oxygen and head back out. I'm glad we came in here, though. There's a Jade Marble missing. I, I'm i going to hope there wasn't anything further along that we missed. That could be pretty annoying trying to figure out where things are. Something I have liked about other games for, like, getting completion status is when you need to find something, like, uh, like the Ori games, for example. The Ori games will give you a map. There's a way to unlock a map that shows you where all the collectibles are. I really like that because I don't want to be going and checking every nook and cranny when I've already been through the game. I like picking things up as I go along. I don't really want to see that map of collectibles until I've actually finished the game. But then, yeah, you know, it's nice. I guess the difference there is that in Ori, getting some of the collectibles is kind of a puzzle. So knowing where it is doesn't necessarily mean that you get it. Whereas in here, if it showed you where it was, that's all there is to it. So, I guess that does change things. Yeah. We're heading down to the warmer area just to see what we can find. I think we have a three star. And here we have two, and I missed. Nice miss. Now, apparently, we need to catch a lot more of those guys. Oh, just catch any hydrothermal vent, which is cool. I need more ammo, though. That's a dangerous guy. Ammo around here? No. There's probably ammo on the left side. We did already get this picture, so we don't need to take it again. Okay. Mirror. Hopefully this is gun enhancement, so it actually refills our ammo. It is not. I don't really want a lightning rifle. Uh, let's head upwards. There's another shelf up here. Another ledge. Don't want to be noticed by that guy. Grab some more of these. There's some ammo. Nice. And with it, we'll catch this guy to get him out of here. But more importantly, I want to go over and catch this one. Restart. Yeah. Uh, I need to use a submersible. Can do. Is there anything down here that we missed? Oh, I think I already had him 3-star. Okay. Scooter's nice. Fuck bean. Oh, <laughs> I already cut it down. Grab another one of these. Oh, there you go. There's a fancy rock for us to hit. And I may as well put a trap here. Means that we have to hang around the area a little bit, actually. Should I do it? Yeah. We'll put polar eel pout in. Good. So, three of those for the job board. We'll get some bay out of it. And we helped someone out. Um, We are going to need 25 of that to upgrade our poison sniper rifle. That is going to take some time. Okay, anything special in here? Oh, those fish look a little bit different. Let's check them out. Together? Yeah! Haddock? Nice. There is a haddock recipe that I need to research. I... Oh! Jade plate? And a North Pacific Sea Star. They both spawn on top of each other. Huh. Do I have this guy? No, that's brand new. Snub nose spiny eel. Cool. Gonna capture some more of these. I am over capacity now. So let's throw out something I don't care for. What would that be? Stick up here. Poor Beagle Shark meat. I. Uh, it's two star. Let's throw out the poor beagle shark. Meat. Discarded. There you go. 
We'll use that capacity to completely miss them. Oh no, we, we got one. Oops. My oxygen is getting a little bit low. I'm gonna head back over here. There was an oxygen thing. And then I guess we will grab our lobster pot and head for the surface. Pretty sure there's an oxygen thing. I hope there was. I, I, I have a capsule. I'll be fine. Oh. Maybe not. There it is. Down here. All good. Giant Trevely. You know what? For the afternoon, we might actually run around in the 0 to 50 meter area. There are some things that we haven't caught there. And then also... Uh, Tokumia Catalepsis. I don't think we've seen that one before. I need to throw out half a kilogram of stuff. I'm not throwing out the topaz. Goodbye, Chamber Nautilus. But yeah, so... In the 0-50 to 50 area, there's stuff that we need to catch. And I would like to get some big trevely because... A fair amount of it. Because that can be used in one of those cucumber recipes. I think that'd be worth grabbing for the, for the foodstuffs. Oh, still have a little bit more of this to use. Going down this way to find the mirror. There we are. Back to the boat. All right. Oh, that was our afternoon. Oh, geez, today went by pretty quickly. <laughs> I thought that was still our morning. Uh, blue spotted gazer, stargazer. Got some good crab stuff. Stand. How do you say that? Zenacanthus. I can't do that. Zenacanthus meat. Zenacanthus meat. Tokumia Alexis. All right, we got some more <clears throat> row of different creatures. <laughs> Going to the fish farm. Probably full at the fish farm again. Okay. Dispatch. Let's dispatch them. And I don't have the money to train people at the branch. So that's too bad. Go to the sushi. Do we want to go to the fish farm? Now nah, let's go to the sushi. We can check out the fish farm tomorrow. Oh, there was something I wanted to do, actually. I never checked out that Leia's Run minigame. Here. See what that's about. Leia's run, Dream Live. Okay, we've done the Dream Live before. Yao, I'm not super interested. Space Diver, we've done that now. Um, yeah, let's check out Leia's run. Get as many gems as possible without getting caught by the fans. Nice. I like the loading screen. All right. Start. And it's, it's being played on our phone. This is great. So jump. We got two jumps. Got it. Oh. Landing on the box is bad, apparently. Oh, oh, I'm bad at this. 41, okay. Let's try again, get a better high score. I want to hit 100. Oh, oh, oh. Apparently I didn't jump fast enough there. <laughs> Alright, we can do this. Okay. Not good. Uh, I'm not very good at this. Oh, I triple jumped there. Oh. Stop, you're in the way. Almost hit the... Oh, no, 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 no. We were at 90. We were so close. We can get 100. We can do this. Oh. <laughs> Not when I play like that, though. Oh. Landing on the box hurts. That's kind of a strange one. Maybe like a spike pit or something. Uh-oh. 
80? Oh no! I should have said that. Jinked myself. Oh, that's kind of a mean one right there. The double box, so you need to. Really? Double box, so you need to double jump, but then you can't jump in time for the next obstacle. Alright, uh, heard me, and that was giving us an easier run. Oh! <laughs> then I didn't jump the second time! Alright. Can double jump? Oh, double jump somehow. Okay. Three. Here's the secret is when we see double boxes, we need to land just on the other side of the boxes. So I'm gonna jump a little bit earlier. Like that. Oh no, I can double up there. We can do this, we can do this. See, there we go. Alright. I have now mastered the double box, but not the long hit and then the duck. It's the same concept though. See? There we go. Got it. Do the double jump faster so we fall back down a little bit sooner. This game takes real skill. Oh no! <laughs> We're at 95, so close. Uh oh. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> Got hit by two of those right just in a row there. Uh. Okay. Not the best, not the best here. I can do better than this. Let's let's do a little bit more try hard mode. Alright, this is gonna be the one. A hundred gems on this run. I think, yeah, definitely, I'm getting hit when I hold that second jump for too long. Uh oh. Oh, that coming. Oh. We're good, we're good, we made it. How high can we get now? Oh, not very high. 120. Pretty good, pretty good. I call that a success. <laughs> Took a few fails along the way. Uh, what do we have? Stir-fried habanero lobster. Norway lobster, I have a good amount of that, and some habanero. We're not really growing it, so I'm not going to worry about that dish. This one makes 10 dishes. Yowie's inner flesh. Do I need to go back down to the control room to harvest that? I guess so. I, well, we'll research it. Research complete. Now, I... There is somewhere a haddock meal. Haddock aqua paza. Six dishes. Takes haddock, which we have a fair amount of. Oh, cherry tomatoes and carrots. Olive oil. Uh, you know what? Nah. We're just going to stick with the cucumber stuff. So, research all the cucumber things. I like the idea of just making a lot of cucumbers at the farm. Just much simpler to manage. Oh, not that one. I want this one. All right, now we've expended all of our, almost all of our artisans' flame. Our cucumber dishes. The reason I like them is because we can enhance these quite a bit. I have to find them though. Seasoned Waptia field insists, so I need to get some more of those guys. Cucumbers, black coral. We're working on that. And black vinegar. We can enhance it. And then great spider crab. So this one has 150 happiness. One of them had 170. This one's 160, which is pretty good. Spider crab right there. Pickled vegetables. Wait a second, we have a lot more of these than I thought. 160, 160, 153, 170, this one, the Trevely sandwich. So that's what we want to gather a bunch of resources for. Having said that, Trevely is a little bit harder to farm. So what can we do? I'm not gonna be making deep fried vegetables. This requires way too many vegetables. Pickled vegetables, same thing. Skewered cucumber just on its own is 160. That's interesting. 
but it's three cucumber per one dish, which is not great. One serving. Sea toad is also one serving, but it's 160 happiness. This one is one serving, but it takes a spider crab for each. I think the sea toad is probably easier to acquire over this spider crab, but nah, it's basically the same. Really, it's basically the same. The seasonal Waptia field insist is definitely more interesting to me though, because for every two sea for every two cucumbers, we get five servings. But we also have to throw in that black coral and black vinegar. We can get the black vinegar from dispatches, no problem. Um black coral takes some time. I think. I think we'll just wait and see what we have tomorrow. We'll worry about enhancing it tomorrow when the actual event is. I definitely want to be putting out some tropical fish, sushi she said. That's still kind of my favorite. Mianbao is it? I need to gather more shrimp. We'll have to remember to do that tomorrow as well. And vegetable sushi, sea grapes, jellyfish. We could use a lot of salt, but I'm not going to. Hot pepper tuna. We're going to run out of that at some point, but we can put some out. Sure, why not? And sea grapes are one at a time. Deep fish tempura. Interesting. Cookie cutter shark, vampire squid, barrel eye, and kelp. So a lot more cookie cutter shark could be worth it. Hmm. Can I enhance this? 632 costs four dishes. Is this worth it? I don't think I don't think we're gonna be going for it in the long run, so I'll just put it out as a meal. And that'll be fine. That should be good for tonight. And I might need to refill the menu, but we can certainly do that during the uh during our open time. What is this? I still don't know what that is. Is that 12? Huh? Customers? No. There's no way that's 12 customers. We're gonna have a lot more than that. I don't know what that means. Alright. People having our sushi or tropical fish fish. And we're out of whatever that was. That was quick. Refill the wasabi. I see this. Oh, El Nino's got it. Uh, people are waiting to be served. We have some dishes needing to be cleaned. I can do that. Alright, we're doing well on wasabi. I think we will need a refill on the ingredients then. Looks like. Uh, let's get this out and then have a look at the menu. So, we're now out. Let's actually put another tropical fish sushi set. I am lacking... Titan trigger fish, but we'll catch some more of those tomorrow. And we'll just let it go like that. Seven. Let's see how many more customers we receive. Oh, El Nino's got that. Good job. I see more people coming in. We okay. We need we need more on the menu again. I, I'm just gonna keep putting tropical fish sushi sets. As long as people are buying them, I'm happy to make them. It's our special food. I should probably capture. Oh, uh, we've enhanced it quite a bit. I was going to say we should probably capture a plethora of those fish and use them to enhance it further, but I think we'll be fine. Good job. Good job, everyone. We only needed two more of those dishes, so at that point, maybe I should have made the, uh, the what is it, the white spot jellyfish and sea grapes. That should probably be our filler when we're running out of customers at the end of the evening, but we still need food. Okay, so our actual earnings for tonight were not amazing which i find surprising i thought we sold quite a bit there that's all right not a biggie four artisan's flames because we're only at 4.9 star rating hmm. hey no unhappy customers well done raptor and co it's party day today prepare the right ingredients to make a fortune we are yeah well we're gonna be Getting a lot of cucumbers. We should actually go check the farm on that. Go to the farm. See what Sandy has for us. Okay. Oh, some great eggs. And 26 more cucumbers. Very good. Well done. He says has something to say to us, apparently. I have 27,000 gold. Managing... What do you need? Your seeds and fertilizers. Oh, we're out of fertilizer. Really? It's one fertilizer per day. That's what it is. Okay. Let's buy some more of that then. Shopping and... Hang on. 
we wanted the harvest up fertilizer. Okay. So I have how many days remaining? Four days? Three days? Something like that? Let's buy a good amount. And just give it to him. Let's buy two weeks worth. And we, let's buy a lot more cucumber seeds as well. I think we're going to stick with cucumbers for sure. So we'll go... Oh, we're going to need a lot, aren't we? Okay. 4,000 for now. All right, manage, and 134. Oh, oh, perfect, it's already got it tracked. Wonderful, that's great. Let's go to the shop and purchase a chicken feeder. This uh, feeds the chickens regularly to increase egg production rate. So we'll do that. We also have to buy some feed for them, apparently, but it comes with three days worth of feed. And then we may as well fill out our chickens. We have some white chickens. I'm not gonna worry about naming them. Um, and actually, we will not be able to get enough brown chickens, can we? Yes, we can. All right, we got all the chickens. Perfect. We have feed for them, and what do we do? How do we purchase more feed? High quality feed. Today. Empty and fill. But I don't want to check this every three days, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. <laughs> I think that should be good. Right. Yeah. Let's go to let's go to the fish farm. Check where those populations are at. How are we here? Oh my goodness, we're full in capacity again. Amazing how that happens. I guess Thresher Shark, I actually I don't mind having multiple of those, do I? Let's send a couple to the branch. Let's send Two star pressure sharks. Titan trigger fish, we're very happy to have those around. White leg shrimp, oh, excellent. Actually, I'm going to take some of those. Send those to my kitchen, please. We'll send two stars, all of them. And actually, now I think about it, let's do that with the Titan trigger fish as well. Green trigger fish, pressure shark, we already went through. Green hump head. I don't need two of these guys. Let's send one of them to the branch. Okay, is that it? Pain trigger fish, we only have four remaining. That's... Maybe I sent too many away. White tip reef shark. I don't think we need multiple of them. You know what? Yeah, let's do this. Pressure shark as well. Send them to the branch. I... I think the only thing we want breeding here is the white leg shrimp and the... Titan Triggerfish. Those are the two that we like to use in our recipes. For the Mianbao Zia, Zaya, Zaya, Zao, Mianbao Zao, I think it's it called. And then for um for the fancy sushi set, the tropical fish sushi set. Okay, so these guys, the branch. I did see there was a fancy dish to do with red lionfish. I'm not gonna worry too much about that one. Keep one of them in our Aquarium just for a variety. Okay. That should be good on that one. Brought us down to 32% density. Alright, I really lowered our population there. Oops. Show details. We are full on this one. Coral trout and harlequin hide. We want, of course, white spot jellyfish for sure. And I think is that all we have in here? Really? Okay. Well, then we need to clear this stuff out. Do we have these plates, these things, the capacities fully upgraded? I thought we did, but maybe we don't. Oh, okay. Well, this one we do. These others, not yet. Hmm. Alright. Alright. We're slowly buying out everything we can. I think white spotted jellyfish. Send those to our kitchen. And I'll just send all the two stars. Other kind, same deal. And we're not doing it tonight, because tonight's the cucumber night. But what we will be doing is trying to enhance these dishes a little bit further. I think. Because we certainly have enough ingredients to feed everyone that comes in. Uh, show the details. Rhino Meridae. Some of those have grown. That's really good. Sea toads. We can use those. We're going to use them tonight. So let's send some of those to our kitchen. Uh, 
I think Cambridge Nautilus, we don't need those growing. We'll send some of them to the branch. Mega Moth Shark, same deal. Send it to the branch. Uh, Comb Jellyfish? Yeah. Wait on. Rhino Camaridae. Do we need these growing? Not really, no. Sell them to the branch, I guess. Get that out of there. Sea toads, we are already... We want them to grow, so we'll keep them. Cookie cutter shark. Actually, you know what? We do want this to grow. There is that fancy dish we can make with the cookie shark, cutter shark. We had a lot of the other fish that were needed, so... I don't feel a need to worry about those, but uh, the more cookie cutter sharks we have, the more that dish we can make. Blue spotted, I think. Let's keep these ones, actually. Spider crabs. Oh, we want to send these to the kitchen for tonight. Blue spotted stargazers. Those can stay here. Norway lobster. How do you feel about those? There was a dish using them, right? Well, we'll hold on to those fancy crab-type guys. Don't mind having them growing. We're at 32% density now, so plenty of space. The Gaia, and you know what? I'm not going to remove anything from these other places. Oh, this one's at 100%, though. Wow. What do we get rid of here? I have no idea. I guess the real trick is just to upgrade the capacity. Arctic pod, I guess we can get rid of some of that. Gelatinous guys, snailfish. Oh, current manager cannot use the high ranking ingredients, so that's okay. They'll hold on to the ingredients until we have Raptor leveled up. That'll be fine. Okay. Good. Down to 61%. 100% here as well. I think. Yeah, there's nothing in particular. Oh. Oh. Who's that? Different way of looking at it. That's cool. We'll send this to the branch. Dumbo octopus. Yeah, I don't think we need them. We're just sending everything, really. Vampire squid. I feel there was a fancy dish to do with vampire squid, actually. I'm going to hold on to those guys. Barrel eye as well. Peacock squid. Probably not the peacock squid. Oh, they might, though. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. It's not like we're getting rid of all of them, so they'll continue breeding. That's okay. By the way, I'm sending all the two stars. I have no idea whether it matters if you have a three star in here or not. I just feel like I, I, I want to have the best fish kept alive, so in case it does matter, we're breeding the three stars with three stars, you know? I will send... Yeah, we'll just send everything. I don't see anything in this list that we really need. We have a lot of... Oh, I'm sorry. Mori eel. Do we... Well, white shrimp we want to hold on to. I think there was a dish that was useful with those. But otherwise, do we even want to grow these guys? I guess. Okay. Whew. That should be enough management. Um, There's depths... 540 plus. Yeah. We do have stuff we can capture for those. For there. We already have things in there, I guess. Okay. Scheduled party. That's our cucumber party. Let's talk to Cobra here. And he has a waterproof box for us. That's nice to have. We are going to go diving in the shallows here. I have myself a net gun. Net gun can catch pretty much everything down here. We're looking for a crystal lobster. Crystal lobster said it was... Was it 0 to 50? No, it was, it was 100, 50 to 150, I think. So we're going to go put some lobster pots in the 50 to 150 area. But I have a feeling that you can only catch them during special events like stormy nights or something like that. Oh, oh boy, a hush start, level 1. If we do happen to see tuna, I'd be happy to catch some. Oh, 
Man, this place is so peaceful. <laughs> I know there's some dangerous fish around, but uh, it's, it's bright and colorful. And cheerful. Nice. Agar. Yeah. Okay. Anything? Oh, I forgot to check the Marinka for what I was missing. Oops. That's okay. We will check when we return to the boat. Hopefully I remember to do so. Silver bowl for that 50 gold worth. Go into these guys. Probably find some white spotted jellyfish over there. So I'm heading down to... Alright, we're in the 50 to 150 area. So we want to find any lobster trap areas. Some rocks with bubbles. Let's check this. a rock. And a pink sea shell. We want that too. Purple sea urchin. That's the only thing I have to put in here. That's fine. I think I have a seahorse. Let's check. Dwarf seahorse. Yeah. I wonder if there are any seahorses that we've missed. So, is there really no way to check? Ecology research. Oh, that's nice. You can turn in a couple of them for 90 points. Um, ecology research. Pull this. There's nothing else to do there. Huh. I'm curious. I'm not going to click it right now, but I'm curious. I think what we'll do is click that return to the boat and see what it says. Let's just wait here for the lobster. And we do want to be going to the glacial area for that tour overnight and stuff. Uh, I can turn in these three for this delivery, but we need a lot of topaz to upgrade our hush dart and then a bunch of tour overnight to upgrade the poison sniper rifle as well. So, you can only get that by going to the glacial area. And it's only like three at a time, basically. Six at a time if we're lucky. It'll take some patience. There we go. Tropical lo rock lobster and California spiny lobster. So, oh, nice. All right, that didn't pan out. So, what else do we need to catch this in the shallows? I feel there was something else over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted some of these. Uh, the trebly, big trebly, white trebly. Oh no, I need. Is white trebly the right one? There's giant trebly and then another one. I guess white trebly must be at level 2 hush art. Okay. Getting a little bit better. Still not what we're looking for. Don't need this or This is where we just came through, right? Yeah. We're just here. I guess we'll head upwards. Start just catching fish at random, really. Uh, okay. That was not the most impressive shot. <laughs> Don't really need to fight you. He's gonna hit me anyway. Okay. Take that. don't need his meat. Wait a second, do we have three star of him? Maybe not. Maybe I do need him. Oops. We have three star Barracuda? Okay, now I've got to rethink what I've actually done. It's very possible that I never caught those things in three star because I didn't have the capability at the time. These guys... problem is now we're going to have all these things in our fish farm again. Oh well. I'll have to spend some more time 
figuring that out, I suppose. And I'm out of ammo. Here's ammo. Collect them all. Is the trigger fish? I, I'm sure we have these dead already. Anything? Oh. Wasn't paying attention there. Alright, you want to be a meal? You asked for it. Gave me another thing from the red lion fish. What was that? Something I've not been making use of. Ooh, got those two in one shot. I have to use this to catch them because of the, the humphead parrot fish in the way. That's alright. I already have three star of the fried egg jellyfish, I'm sure. Oh, there's probably the stingray up here that I don't have three star. Nice. Always have to find more shrimp. The sight and trigger fish are very important for our tropical sets. And there's some ammo. This is a purple seahorse. I'm going to capture it just in case. Pacific seahorse, okay. And you never know, I'll, I'll put a lobster pot here. Why not? We can afford to put something in there. Red lionfish. A little tiny guy over there, let's catch that. Oh. And trick fish? Sea shrimp. And another lobster pot. I'll uh, put another red lionfish in. I wonder if it matters what you put in there. Maybe that's how you get the crystal lobster. Uh, is you need to put something to, somehow related to crystals in there. I don't think you can just put straight rocks in there. Is there a fish? Think of anything. Okay, European lobster. I don't think I need the copper, but doesn't hurt to have it on hand. It's, uh, we have a lot of capacity. The fish up here do not weigh a whole lot. Ooh. There we go. American and European lobster. I did Yeah. I'm not too sure... I guess I just need to get out of the water and check the America app is really what it comes down to. Because I might be swimming around looking for things we haven't found when we've already found everything, right? How would I know if I haven't checked that? Yeah. Okay. Everything is looking familiar. Let's check out what it does when I say return to boat. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. Okay. 
Now we know. Ah, some cash. Just a tiny little fish. Lama Corgi. Return to the boat. Alrighty. We got some more seahorses. And... Good. Good amount of Titan Trigger Fish. Apparently only five meat from that one? How did that happen? Really? Ten meat from the one that we caught on its own, but five meat from the one that we used as submersible on. Very interesting, okay. That's good to keep in mind, I guess. <laughs> and... Finish upgrading our seeds, so we'll, we, will, we will go down to the Sea People Village because we'd like to... Uh, Thank him for having upgraded the seeds. I did bring a waterproof box with me without actually having any use for it since we were in the shallows. Means we don't have it for the glacial area. That's okay. All right. First things first. America out. No. First things first. Eco water. <laughs> Deliver those seashells. Invasive species dealt with. And investigate sea people artifacts. The jade pedestal. Okay. I have to figure out where that is. Investigate dangerous gemstones. Haven't seen any rubies around. I think we did see rubies at one point, actually. Surprised I don't have them. Overpopulated invasive species. Sheep's head, 0 to 50, and striped catfish. So this is actually what we needed to do in the shelves. I, I'd forgotten that this is what I had in mind, but it was. Striped catfish and sheep's head. Huh. We didn't see any. This one's hydrothermal vents. Okay. Uh, let's go to the Marinka. Marinka. Blue hole depths. Let's go to the shallows. Okay, shallows is 97%. We have not caught whatever this thing is. Okay. Other than that, oh, we need a three star sea goldie. Really? We've never caught a three star sea goldie. Okay. Sheep's head. Alright, there's a few things we need three stars then. The marlin and the shortfin mako. Hmm. Stingrays. I do know about the stingrays. White tip reef shark. Apparently we've never caught him in three stars. I probably could have just shot a net at him and caught him three star there. Oops. That's okay. I'll keep that in mind. Sheep's head. It has a huge forehead that resembles a lump with its sharp teeth that mainly feeds on crustaceans. Zero to fifty. Nothing special we need to do for that. Blue hole medium depths. There's a fish missing here. Okay. Ooh, giant squid. Cool. Smooth hammerhead needs to be caught in three star. Uh, Sally Lightfoot crab. I could catch some of those with my net. Long nose saw shark is only two stars. Whoops. Again, I probably should have shot a net at him. Hmm. Great barracuda is already three stars, so that's good. We do have the tiger shark. How did we catch that? Oh, it was probably like a tranquilizer harpoon tip. So, what is this thing? There's two fish, one fish in each of these spots that we have not seen. Or not caught, anyway. Blue Hole Deaths Part 2. Everything, almost everything is in 3 star. Not the Frilled Shark. Which again surprises me because I was pretty sure I'd already done that. That's okay. That's okay. These are things I wish I could write down and bring with me down into the water. Because I'm not going to remember. The Humble Squid. Okay, I definitely have things to do at night. There are not that many things around at night actually. Zebra Shark, Copper Shark, Black Tip, Reef Shark, Black and Barracuda, Humble Squid, and Spear Squid. I... Again, I'm surprised. I thought we had the three-star helm bolt squid, but clearly not. Glacial Passage, we have all those. <laughs> that was pretty easy to do. Uh, the Greenland Shark is only two stars, so I we do need to upgrade our hush darts for sure for a few of these things. The poor beagle, yep. Yeah. Uh, we have three fish that we have not captured in the glacier zone. What is that guy? Looks like he would be hard to miss. Okay. Tiny little fish. Phantom Jellyfish, Lion's Mane is 3 star. Do we catch a Lion's Mane? We took a picture of one. Oh. I know we fought the Phantom Jellyfish, but I don't remember the Lion's Mane. Okay. These sharks, okay. Hydrothermal Vents. A little bit lower. Megalograptus. How do we catch those? Oh! Yeah, I went into that area with my sniper rifle, of course. I need to go into the area again, the control room, and just catch him with the net. No problem. Drepanep's 
the <laughs> Drepanaspis. I can catch that guy with my net, I'm sure. And then we have some people. This is probably the armored guy. And there's some others that I don't recognize. Ooh, oh. Seahorses. We have three unknown seahorses. And there's actually one that's better than the leafy sea dragon. I'll have to look at that. Hydrothermal vents is where they're found. So definitely we're going to the hydrothermal vents here. Check them out. Crab traps, we have more things. Ah, okay. So there's some lobster we haven't caught. Didn't catch that one. But this one's at 0 to 50, apparently. Huh. Divine tree control room. Oh, really? Okay. We'll head in there. This guy, we only have a two star, so we need to catch some more stuff around the hydrothermal vents anyway. We've got three stars for those. Aberrations. Oh my goodness, there are so many aberrations that we have not caught. This one might be a little bit tough, because we can't exactly go to the aberration, the fog coast, whenever we want. Black cliff and fog coast are two different things. Ah. Interesting. I wonder how we get from one to the other. Jellyfish Basin. So there are three different areas that we can go to. Okay. Huh. That'll take some work. I don't know if we'll actually get everything then. Um, because that's... Well, I guess what we could do is skip days. I guess that's when you want the time skip. So you can skip days and... Uh, get events like that. So... Cucumbers, not needed. Let's go to the Sea People place. Or the Glacier area. I think he said there was some stuff around, right? Let's go to the Sea People and go talk to Gumo. Oh, the seeds are upgraded. That's what he said. We'll upgrade the seeds again. No problem. Happy to do so. Oh. And the job board... Oh, the fang tooths, I think we can turn in. Oh, and the to tobernite, sorry, of course. We already turned in the fang tooths, we have the tobernite to turn in. Upgrade seeds, black coral for sure. I am running out of bay. Cookie cutter sharks, zero out of two. So they want us to take some of those out. Um, I actually would not mind taking them out because uh, because I I do need some. Well, I don't need some of them, but they're used for a good recipe. Should we go do that? It is a bit of a swim. Maybe we'll do that another time when we're looking for the other fish. Right now, I want to go to the glacier area, so let's go there. Oh, Gumo, I want to talk to Gumo. Make sure that our farming is all working out. Well, sprouts and young plant. Okay. Unfortunately, that means that our different plant types are growing at a different rate. So I'm going to have to leave some of the fields empty for a day or two while we wait for the other ones to finish growing. Sure we have these guys in three star again there is a big fish that we haven't caught apparently there's a narwhal definitely caught it three star yeah there's a big fish we haven't caught at all right hmm where would that be oh nice the scooters are nice Our boon tip level three. That works for me. And some bull kelp. Let's just get him out. I do. I want to use a submersible. Not really. No. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Just gonna shoot you while you're in there. This is neat. Narwhal 
tusk. Okay. Oh, I don't... I should hire more people. We don't need to hire more people, but I, I should do it anyway. There's some topaz. Nice. Ooh, a sticky bomb gun level 3. Oh, hold on. Fish finder thing. Fish radar. Oh my goodness. Have I been missing this the whole time? So, here's the thing. Tilde key's on the other side of my keyboard from where I'm used to. This is how we can check it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All this time I've been like, I wish there had a way to check this. I wish there was a way to check this. It keeps popping it up on the left side of my screen and there's a way to check it. Amazing. Sort by grade or unattained. I rank sort by the number of meat. Cool. All right, sort by unattained. There is no unattained in the glacier pass. Okay, that's not quite working the way I was hoping. Um, sort by rank means we just go to the bottom of the list. Nice. You change the... No, can't change which direction it sorts. Okay. Zebra shark... No, we're in the wrong spot. Sorry. Glacier zone. <laughs> This is on Coral Beagle Shark, Greenland Shark, Alaska Pollock. Okay, I need to keep an eye out for those guys. And then three things that we don't know. There must be some secret with the crab traps. Okay, I think they also... Oh, it's one in the 0 to 50 area. The crab that we don't have in 3 stars. We definitely have a golden king crab. Oh, I haven't caught this guy apparently. Alright, I can't pick him up. Or eel pout. Okay, we have lots of those. Another scooter. Excellent. I'll just pick up some ammo on the way. Okay. Definitely want this guy. He has a special resource that we would like to have. I don't actually remember what for, but I know I want it. It'll become clear to me in the future. I think. Alright, so some aquamarine. Aquamarine is nice to have. Oh, I'm getting close here. There you are. Do I put. No, we're gonna just trap rocks around the hydrothermal vents. I don't know how many rocks there are available to trap down there. Maybe we can only put down one or two. But I'll uh, hold off on trapping these areas for now. Ice gun level one. That lets us unlock the blueprint for the ice gun, I think. We were at two out of three before. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll see what sort of upgrades that can get. These guys make a good tasty recipe. Happy to grab those. There's a rock. Put a polar eel pout. Okay, I'm going to catch this guy in three star. Oh, I need to hit him with the net. There you go. We didn't have him in three star before, I don't think. There we can put another lobster trap down. And we'll throw... Yeah, no, we definitely had them three-star. What am I saying? I think... Do I... I'm not going to throw the narwhal meat in there. We'll put... Yeah, we'll put the pakaya. Sure. Mayonnaise. Ah, might as well harvest this stuff. You never know when a little buck bean might come in handy. Ammo, yeah, sure. And these things, like, I'll, I'll continue collecting them. Ocean Quahog Shell. I don't know. It must be used for an upgrade of some kind. So it's telling me... Show me the, this thing. Does that mean we've done something for it? Hydrothermal vents. Ripanascus. You guys, we have not found. 
to go look around this or whatever. That's down in the control room, though. There's our scooter. And I'm going to just swim down here, wait for the lobster trap, and then we'll head up and grab the other one. Hopefully some oxygen somewhere. Yeah, so now it's showing me again. Oh, I could have clicked on it the whole time, too. I... I don't know if it's showing us that because this thing is nearby. Hmm. So what's going on here? Oh, it's telling me that I have 52 meat and I have one of them in my fish farm. Okay. That's very handy. Yeah, is this indicating something? I don't know if it's meant to be working like a radar. I feel it is. Uh, we don't have this guy in three star yet, so we do want to get that from the lobster pot up here, hopefully. I'll just breathe a little bit of oxygen as well. level 2. That guy has been caught captured already. Here's another lobster pot spot. And that might be a fish we don't have. I can throw in this 2 star. Sure. Feed crab with more crab. Do not need that melee weapon. There we go. That is new. Nice. What else should I look for? Frozen cod. I guess... The fact that it's here... Maybe that means we need to hit the armored shark with it. Feels kind of silly. I, I don't think that's actually the case. But it's guaranteed oh, to be found in this spot. Oh, look at that. That was easy. Ow. Okay, we got poison. Uh oh oh no <laughs> oopsie daisy all right i'm not a fan of using melee weapons against the fish in this game um all right well that was quite silly of me what do we want to hold on to antarctic octopus venom sack we did want that aquamarine would be nice topaz would be nice but i'm not going to spend my one thing that i get to keep on that king men what is this king mendis king Ching Mendes? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I guess. Yeah, the Antarctic Octopus Venom Sack. We'll keep that. Okay. Not the end of the world. I'm, I'm alright with losing that stuff. We weren't depending on it. The main thing is capturing the first place, because that's what unlocks it in our Pokedex. I mean, America app. Um. Okay, Ice Gun. Good, good wrap up the day. I think we're going to go fishing, right? We'll redispatch everybody. We have a lot of things to catch at night still. So let's go do that. Okay. Nasty little buggers. I've already got you guys in three star. I have no. Oh, oops. I didn't see the second. Uh, yeah, there's another one there. Uh. Oh, we can catch stuff at night. So. Leave these guys together so that we can catch them all with one net. Because I like to be a little frugal that way, I guess. I put this down. I don't know if this is going to give us different fish, but I hope it does. lobsters. What else is there? A sleepy toy hammer. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with melee weapons anymore. Our dive knife is plenty good. These little guys are dangerous. Unless you have a net gun. 
Well, even then, they're still dangerous. Hey, okay. Plus one ammo. Amazing. Now, our lobster pot's getting a little far away. Okay, this guy in three star is needed. Setting him up. I'm very surprised I hadn't done that already. But maybe I didn't actually have this, like, probably couldn't capture him without the steel net gun. So that would have been why I would have caught him. I must have just used the submersible on him after having killed him. That was only uh, two star. Of course. Alright, we'll throw in a uh, sure, purple sea urchin. Why not? Of course, it does mean I have to return to this spot. Go down here. Okay, those guys, I have them at three star, no doubt. I like to see some oxygen. Speaking of which, there's some more. Alright, here's a guy. I'm sure we don't have him. Oh yeah, we do have this guy in the future. I was expecting a manta ray, or stingray, whatever. Devil scorpion fish. Cool. Not too sure. We only have a two star of this. And now we have a three star. Long nose saw shark. I've been calling it a sawtooth shark my entire time playing this game. It is a long nose saw shark. We can just ignore them and go by. I've definitely caught them in a net before. And so much work must have gone in this game. I like, oh. all, all the well-made video games, tons of work go into them, but a lot of time spent working on environmental stuff here. All the backgrounds and stuff. It's not terribly difficult if it's a bunch of squares. I don't know. I'm still impressed. I still think this is an excellently made game. Incredible. Now, I have obviously missed the path up for our lobster trap. We'll go down here. There we are. Wait for that current to finish. Perfect timing. Okay, Crystal Lobster rank two. We found it. It's at nighttime. Okay. Very cool. So actually, there was another lobster pot spot down there. I'd like to go to. It's not going to be up here though, right? Because this is above 50 meters. I think it did say it had to be 50 to 150 meters. What one can hope? Blue lobster, three star. And red banded lobster. Do we have those? I don't think we did. I think this is all new. Awesome. Star. Did we actually ever catch a three star? Really? Must have. I I'm sure we caught this guy three star before, but we'll do it anyway. And I'm hoping a stingray comes out of the sand. More oxygen? 
that's good. We are running a little low. There we go. I was gonna say, I'm gonna hold off for an oxygen tank. I'm sure there's one around here, and there was. Can I catch this guy? No. Do I have him? Hang on. Check this thing. So, nocturnal. Copper shark two or black tip three shark two star. I think we have to put him to sleep with a hush dart then, with a fancy upgraded one, because if we don't have him, well, let's let's try. Let's try. Hold on. Oh, here's a copper. Zebra shark. Check. Oh, we can catch the zebra shark with this thing. Okay. That means we're not going to bother with the copper shark because we don't have any more drones. So we'll just come down here tomorrow evening as well. Nice. Three star. Armor. Yeah, so now we're just looking for another lobster pot spot. And then we'll just gather whatever fish we can find, I guess. You don't have to be discerning at this point. Uh, ooh, tiger shark. I should have just put a lobster pot down when I was at the spot earlier. Where is it? I thought it was just the right here. Maybe it was down here. New. Okay. Ow. I'm gonna take some of that oxygen now. through here? Nope. That would have been really cool, though. Secret passage. Uh, I don't want to go up too high. We're at 76 meters. We want to be at 50 meters or below. Not in there. And above here is too high. Ah. Oh, I got hit. Yeah, we'll grab some oxygen. Okay. Let's go down, and then we can go left, I believe. Let's we'll see if we can find any lobster spots there. If not, it's not the end of the world. We can return tomorrow. I just want to get that three-star crystal lobster. But at this point, it's looking like we're not finding a spot that maybe I imagined. I thought there was one, but I, I guess... Oh no, there's one! <gasps> Yay! Alright, I was too far away. And that was maybe kind of obvious because there were, there were some things we hadn't checked. Uh, there was uh, the yellow box that was still around and I, I check pretty much every single one I find. Now we'll just capture whatever we can and then once the lobster pot's ready to go we'll head back. Our customers await their meals.
exactly need that oxygen. <laughs> All right, fan lobster, three star crystal lobster. We did it. Three star fan lobster. I think that's a new one as well, actually. Okay, good stuff. All right, does it tell us? Yeah, new. Fan lobster, crystal lobster, blue lobster, red band lobster, all those things are new. We never tried lobster pots at night time. Oh, that's a nice discovery. <laughs> and off to Bancho Sushi we go. Actually, before we go there, let's just have a quick stop at the farm, see if any more cucumbers are growing. Actually, oh, do you see the fireworks in the sky there? There's a large cucumber. Okay. Uh, 36. Whoa, I'm glad we checked. 36 more cucumber. In fact, at this rate, he's growing so much per day. I'm worried that it says you can store up to 200 crops. I think we'll have to check every, like, three days at least. Um, which isn't the end of the world. Like, <laughs> checking. Oh, I gotta check every three days. Not the end of the world, but, uh, yeah, I was hoping to only check once per week. Okay. White leg shrimp delivered. We, yeah, we delivered all these things both of our places. We should have a lot of food available to us. First thing, I guess the only thing is first, we need to enhance these dishes. So tonight is a special night. It's cucumber night. I can only make four of these? Oh, we don't have enough black coral. Well, it's probably not worth enhancing this right now then. Yes, it is. What am I saying? We have plenty of all the other stuff. Not a lot of black vinegar, but we have enough. So 16 or six black coral to enhance this once. We're definitely going to be making this in the future for sure. So we'll enhance it. Yes. Yes. All right. And we cannot enhance it again, but we have enough to make a few dishes. And that's important. So I'm going to put this out twice. And then what else do we have? Great spider crab and cucumber sushi. I don't want to use up all my cucumbers enhancing other recipes. I guess we've already put out a couple, so we know what we've used. So spider crab or sea toad, these two are good options. Actually, yeah, 160 for either one of them. Skewered cucumber on its own is also 160, which I find very surprising. How much? Six to enhance that. Three to enhance this, okay. Definitely seems like a better option. Sea toads, we have more sea toads though. And I'd say they're easier to find. So let's enhance the sea toad one and not worry about the spider crabs. Uh, we are running through a lot here. We only make one of these dishes at a time. The reason I really want to enhance this is because I think this is our path to getting the platinum cookster rating. 298 though. Uh, we can only serve five of them after this. Yeah, we'll do it anyway. All right. I regret nothing. Put five of them out there. And we need something else to just fill the rest of the dishes. We can only make seven cucumber solely dish sole dishes. We can make 21 spider crab dishes. That's not the end of the world. Pickled vegetables, deep fried. Those things take too many other things. Big guy trebly. This makes quite a few dishes. So for two cucumbers, we get five of these dishes. 312 money each, I think. What we can do, you know what I'm going to do is just start off with this, which is not much on the menu. Love to add more ingredients, but we're out of black coral. Too bad. Not much on the menu. We're going to serve these things as much as we can. 896 money each. Wow. And, uh, and then I'll just refill the menu with the cheaper things as needed. Let's open Banjo. Actually, I guess just to give variety. Hold on. Immediately after saying that, I am going to put out some spider crab. 324 each. 320 each. Uh, Trevely sandwich is 312. Actually, we'll, we'll put one of these out. There you go. Just to have some variety for people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it is a shorter evening. I, I should have thought about that. We have this special event, and I went and shortened the evening by going diving. That was quite silly of me. Thank you, Davey. That's alright. We're doing okay money-wise, anyway. I like we're going broke or anything. Oh, 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 hold on. Need more food. Um, spider crab. Let's just put one out and auto supply it. There you go. That will handle the rest of the customers. So the reason I didn't do that right away is because when we put the cheaper thing out and auto supply it, a bunch of customers keep ordering that instead of our most expensive dishes. We really saw that on that shark night. So I just want to avoid that situation where we're selling our cheaper stuff while we have already prepared the ingredients for the more expensive stuff. I think it makes sense. Um, we certainly made less money tonight because I went and decided to go diving instead of serving cucumbers for people. And I, maybe that's why they're unhappy. This is actually the lowest rating we've had. Minus 1.0. They actually were, were quite disappointed. Oh, <gasps> there's the branch factor into this. I bet the branch is probably really unhappy. <laughs> I can't believe they have any cucumbers over there. Hmm. Okay, I didn't, maybe I didn't make the right choices today. 